Hi there, welcome to Yoga with Pat. I'm Pat and today we're going to be doing a short little practice and it's going to be a practice that we can do without any official yoga tools. So no mat, no blocks, no props, just stuff we have lying around the house. So here I have two throw pillows, right? Just some couch pillows, whatever you got. You can also use um, your couch cushions if you can remove them and a blanket. So we're gonna take all these things that we can find in your house and if you don't have these specific things, maybe you can find something around your house that's similar, right? Something we can use to support ourselves, support our seat. Um, so pause the video, pause this, take a minute, gather that stuff, and then let's get started. Okay, so now let's start by sitting up on something. Um, sitting up on a couch cushion, anything like that, just so that we can arrive in a comfortable seat into our opening meditation. So you can sit like I'm sitting here, uh, sitting on the heels, using that cushion either over your legs to provide you with a little bit of height, take some pressure off of the knees, or you can even place it in between your heels and then sit on the cushion that way. And that's gonna be a little bit more tension. That's gonna give you a little bit more tension on the front of the thighs. So that's one way you can sit. That's called um, in yoga, Vajrasana or Seja in Zen meditation. Uh, or we can also sit cross legs. So we just place the pillow down, sit your bum right on your pillow, and then cross your legs like so. So now that you've picked your seat, let's start our practice. So rocking a little bit forward on your sit bones, find yourself sitting nice and tall, and then relax your shoulders down the back. Nice. Find a little space on the sides of your neck. Relax your neck. A little tuck to your chin as we grow taller through the crown of our skull. So just like there's an imaginary pulley or string pulling you up, up, up towards the ceiling. You feel tall, you feel regal, lifted, proud. And any tension that you find that you've created in your body to try and sit taller, now relax it, let it soften, settle in, and let's stay a while. And so today, our practice is going to be a little bit of yin and a little bit of yang, combining the two so that we can get a full body experience, a balanced practice today. So now let's start to knock a little bit of rust off of our hips. So from here, we're gonna take our right leg in front of our left leg, and we're gonna come into the square. So for square, you're gonna um, find that it's a little, your legs are a little bit farther away from your sit bones than when we're just sitting cross leg. So take your front leg so that your leg makes almost like the number seven. And then you're gonna take your left leg right behind that. So you've got two sevens. And it looks more like a triangle, but it's called square bones. So we're gonna call it square. And then the heels, so your heels are gonna go right in front of your knees. So you're gonna go from here and then you're gonna inch your heels out, so out away from each other, so each heel is in front of its respective knee. Now from here, here comes the fun part, pull in your toes, and we're just gonna softly hinge forward. So first, bring your hands by your sides. So fingertips on your rug or your floor beside you, 
and then inhale, take your arms up overhead. Find a nice stretch through here. As we exhale, we're gonna rock forward on those sit bones, so like a hinge, we come forward. And then our fingertips can find the floor here. As your fingertips find the floor, they're gonna make like little posts. Inhale, press into the fingers, and pull your heart through both arms. You may here feel a nice tension on the outer hips. If you feel that rock back and forth. Don't get stuck here. Just feel into it. Rock back and forth. Find the place where you feel that tension the most. And just try and relax through that as we rock. Beautiful. Keep breathing. And then from here. We're gonna come out of it, just gently, hands behind you, fingers pointing forward, lean back on the hands, take your knees up into the chest, lift your chest towards the ceiling, and then we're gonna switch sides. Left leg's gonna go in front of the right leg. Same thing, so your heels here are in front of your knees. So the knees are quite close together, the heels are far away from each other. Awesome. Now from here, take your arms up overhead as you inhale, big stretch. And then exhale, hinge from the hips, pull your toes in, fold forward. Fingertips are gonna find the mat here, lift your chest, and then rock back and forth. Just getting into the hips really gentle, not going as far as we can go, but just finding that tension and then rocking into it. Perfect. From here, come out of it, lean back on the hands, lift your knees, lift your chest. Nice. And then we're going to take our right leg in front of our left leg again. Inhale, take your arms up overhead, reach and now a twist, turn to the right. Take your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Your right hand's gonna go behind you. Use that as a little post to lift your heart up. Lengthen through your spine and then turn. Don't force anything. We're just warming up, just getting into our practice today so we can feel good for the rest of the day. Or so we can feel good at the end of the day and have a really nice restful sleep. Another cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Perfect. Now from here, let's take our arms up as we unwind. Inhale, lift your hands up. Reach through your fingertips. Beautiful. And then exhale, turn to the left this time. So right hand's going to come to the outside of the left knee. Left hand's going to come behind you to help you sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lift your chest. Breathe. Beautiful, exhale, take your arms up, reach for the ceiling. Nice, hands to heart center. <sighs> take a breath. Now from here, leaning back on the hands, we're gonna pull the knees up into the chest. This time if you want, you can take your hands in front of you and come into a bent knee boat pose, still lifting, lifting. Perfect, now left leg in front of the right leg. Square pose again, heels in front of the knees. Perfect, inhale, take your arms up, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, twist to the left. So one more set of twists, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, soften. And then inhale, take your arms up again, reach for the ceiling, big stretch here, and then exhale to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand on the outside of the right knee. Lift your chest as you inhale, exhale, twist a little deeper. Perfect, on your next inhale, unwind, reach for the ceiling, and then bring your hands behind you. One more little Navasana here. So you can lean back on the hands and just work on lifting your chest and pulling your knees in towards your chest, or you can take your hands out to the side. Soft hands, still lifting the chest. Other option, straighten the legs. Perfect. Another breath. And then take your legs wide. So we're gonna take our legs wide into straddle or Upavishta Konasana. Our hands are gonna come in front of us here. So here, we're seated up on something, but for some um, 
hamstrings are tight and that means we're back here like this spine's rounded and we're kind of struggling to sit up so if that's the case bend your knees bend your knees press your heels into the mat and then maybe you can take the hip points and roll them forward if you can roll them forward bring your hands forward and you can stay here if you're feeling tension behind the legs perfect that's what we want or you can slowly straighten the legs and then hinge forward to where you go doesn't matter how far you go our objective here is to find some tension behind the legs we're just stretching hamstrings and if you feel your hamstrings you're doing it perfect one more cycle of breath here and then we're going to walk our hands so from straddle from straddle we're going to take our right foot and we're gonna bend that knee. So right leg, bend the knee, take the sole of your foot to the inner thigh. So sole of your foot's in the inner thigh, knees turned out. Um, this might be difficult, right? Again, if the hamstrings are tight, we might find ourselves sitting back and kind of, well, ooh, I'm stuck. Where, where are we gonna go from here? If that's the case. If not, don't worry about it. But if it's the case, take one of your blankets. And take your blanket, make a little burrito or taco or roll, and then place it underneath of that knee so you can have a bend in the knee. Now you're gonna be able to come forward, right? So from here, we're just gonna turn our chest towards the leg and come forward. If for whatever reason you're stopped, could be flesh, on flesh, right? We, we just can't go any further, therefore we can't get the stress, or could be any number of reasons, whatever it is, right? You just feel stuck. Then try, try to turn your chest down the middle and then come down the middle. Maybe you're able to feel the stretch more in this left leg than you were before in straddle with both legs out. So again, any variation, you can be coming this way or you can be twisted coming towards the left leg with your hands framing the left leg and folding over. Other option is for some, there isn't a big stress. Maybe you're just laying over the leg already. Maybe you're laying over the leg and you're it's like, okay, it's, a, it's okay, it's not much. Then you can do the opposite. So taking your blanket and your pillow or whatever, any combination of things, and then placing that over the belly. And now you can find a little bit of rounding in the spine and maybe you feel some tension along the spine here. Maybe that tension creates a little bit, facilitates a little bit more sensation behind the leg. So we're gonna, just take a couple of breaths here. Any variation that we came into, remember, whatever it is, as long as you are feeling something in this pose, as long as you're working into some tension, working into some sensation, then we're getting the job done. We're doing yoga. Another cycle of breath here. And we're going to slowly come up. And from here, we're just going to switch sides. Um, before we do that, take both legs out. It might feel nice to release the tension in, or release the bend in that right leg. We can lean back here and we'll do a little reverse tabletop as our counter pose. So soles of the feet on the mat. From here, your hands are, your fingers are facing forward. The palms of your hand are on the floor behind you. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Just a nice tension behind the legs, nice tension and, and activation of the glutes and then slowly calm down. Perfect. Now, let's switch sides. So, right leg's gonna come out, left leg's gonna bend in, sole of the foot's coming towards the inner thigh. Again, any variation, if we're having a difficult time coming forward, then support the back of the knee. 
From here, we're just going to fold forward over that leg. And take a couple of breaths here. Just working through some sensation, finding some gentle opening in the body. And getting a moment for yourself. Having a moment to be still. Perfect. Just one more inhale. Finish it out with one more exhale. And then slowly calm up. From that forward fold, we're going to remove our blanket, remove our pillow, and then hands behind you. This time, reverse tabletop again, so what we did before in between sides, or hands behind you, legs straight this time. Heels, legs are together, and your heels are going to press strongly into the floor. That's where you're going to get your lift from. And then a little bend to your arms to just find a little lift off, and then inhale, take the hips up. Let your head either rest on your couch if you've got a couch behind you, or let your head rest in between your shoulder blades. Toy toes are pointing pressing into the floor, and then slowly come down. Ah, perfect. Now from here, let's take it to the other side. We're going to come to the belly now. So notice, so far, you have not needed a yoga mat or any fancy yoga stuff to do your practice. We are just on our carpet, so no excuses, okay? So now we're going to be on our belly in a pose called Sphinx. Our elbows, this works best if our elbows are under our shoulders or if this back bends a little bit too much, just a little bit ahead of the shoulders. The only thing you don't want is for it to be behind the shoulders. So just taking a moment here in Sphinx, right? Easing into this gentle back bend. Take another breath and then release the arms. Take your hands to heart or to the outsides of your chest, just like about center of your chest. And then we're going to come into child's pose. So coming up slowly, knees wide, take your hips back for child's pose. And then inhale, come back, knees under the hips back down and we're going to end up in cobra so hands on the outside of the chest inhale take your chest up exhale lower your chest down come into child's pose again so just sneak back child's pose and then inhale come back up lower your belly down and then end up in space Perfect, just a little movement with the breath. Now from here, we're gonna come into crocodile. So crocodile, we start out in Sphinx. So inhale, pull your heart through the arms. Exhale, press into your hands, press into your arms. Belly comes in towards the spine. Come up onto your knees. So there's a little bit of shaking happening for me here so we're working front of core we can curl our toes under straight in our arms and then we're in full crocodile breathe exhale knees down to the mat belly down to the mat inhale lift your chest and pull it through for sphinx one more time so from here inhale sphinx exhale belly moves in we come up to the knees we curl the toes under so we can straighten the legs and we're in crocodile or forearm plank. Another cycle of breath. There's a tendency for hips to come up here. Take your hips down. So you're a plank, you're an actual plank, like a straight line from feet to elbows to shoulders, just a straight line. And then take your knees down, hips down, inhale, pull through for space. Nice work. One more time, just to make sure we got it. 
Inhale, lift your heart. Pull it through the arms, fix. Exhale, belly moves in towards the spine. We come up to the knees and then curl your toes under. Straighten your legs. We're in crocodile, forearm plank. Lift your chest, bring your shoulder blades together. You're long, you're a plank. And then exhale, knees, belly. Inhale, pull your heart through. Ah, take a rest. Forearms in front of you, let your head come down onto your arms. Take a couple of breaths as you just feel what you just did to yourself. <laughs> it's all good work. Perfect. Now from here, we're just gonna close out our practice. We did some good stuff. We're gonna roll over onto our backs. Finish off with just a gentle little twist. So from here, pick your hips up, take them to the right side and let your knees fall to the left. Your shoulders can stay grounded here, or you know, one thing can float, maybe knees float, maybe one shoulder floats. If that's the case, you can always pick something to support. So you can support the knees and the shoulders can be flat on the floor, or you can support your shoulder. Knees can be flat or if this works for your body, then just be. Let yourself be in the twist. Arms can be out to the sides or resting on the belly. And then let's switch sides. Soles of the feet back on the mat. Take your hips back to center. Take a breath here to let your spine recalibrate. And then we'll take the hips up, take them to the left this time, allow your knees to fall to the right. Again, choices with the hands. One hand can hold the knees down if they're trying to move up. Um, we can support that stuff. We can support the knees. We can support the shoulder just by taking a blanket and giving ourselves a little bit of space under the shoulder so the shoulder can relax. The point to giving yourself support is not to keep you from going deeper. It's so that your nervous system knows that your bones are supported. If your nervous system knows that your bones are supported, then your muscles are gonna let go of tension. Our nervous system makes our muscles tight to protect our bones, to protect our joints. So if we support it, if we support those bones and the nervous system feels that, and it says, hey, okay, muscles can relax and we actually get more of a stretch, right? Go figure. Supporting yourself, using your props, actually makes you do more in your practice. It's not so that you can do less, okay? And they don't have to be official yoga props. They can be whatever you have in your house. Allow this practice to serve you. You're not the one serving this practice. Another cycle of breath. And then take your knees back over your hips. Give yourself a hug. You can rock side to side. It might feel nicer if you don't have a mic pack. Of course, I don't think my microphone's working, but we'll see at the end of this. And then your choice, your choice, if you've got a couch behind you, for Shavasana, swing your, le ow, swing your legs <laughs> up the couch. Don't stub your toe. Swing your legs up the couch. Let your legs be supported by the couch, or if you've got a free wall, you can also do legs up the wall, your heels supported by the wall. Of course, I'm just pretending that I have a wall behind me. But this is your house, you know? 
use your stuff. Let yourself relax. Yoga doesn't have to be this rigid thing where we need everything to be just right. We can do yoga anywhere in our house. Anywhere. We can find a moment for stillness and for relaxation anywhere in our house. Any time of day. It doesn't have to be auspicious early in the morning. Um, you know, it doesn't, ha it can be right before bed, but how about in the middle of the day? Do you have a lunch break? Um, do you have a corner in your office? Of course, this particular practice might be weird in your office, unless you're fancy and you have, um, a workplace that offers a yoga space, which would just be amazing. Or, you know, if you're at home, my kid's at school right now. You can do your practice at home. So whenever you can find a minute, come back to this a few minutes. I'm going to try to have a few practices that are different spans of time so we can just find a moment for ourselves, find a moment for stillness, for a little bit of movement, a little bit of stretching. If you want to stay, stay longer. If you can't stay and this is all the time you have, then roll to one side, come to seated. I want to thank you so much for watching this video, for doing the practice, right? It's best if you do the practice with me um, or by yourself, you know, do the practice, whatever. And if it, this did something for you, please hit that like button. Please share it with your friends. Um, please share it with anybody. Post it on your stories on Instagram, whatever, whatever you can do. Um, bring more people to this. If you like me or of course any yoga video that's on YouTube. And with that being said, thank you so much. Hope to see you again. Namaste.